In today's video, we're going to go over how you subtract fractions when those fractions have the same denominator. I'll give you a hint. If you have watched my video on adding fractions with like denominators, it's pretty much the same process. If you remember, when adding fractions with the same denominator, we simply add the numerators together, keep the denominator, and then simplify. The process is exactly the same for subtracting. If the denominators are the same, we subtract the numerators and then simplify if needed. Let's go over a few quick examples. 3 over 5 minus 1 over 5. We keep the denominator of 5 the same, and we subtract 3 minus 1 to get 2. 2 over 5 is in its simplest form, so we're done. Next example, 6 over 7 minus 2 over 7. We keep the denominator of 7, and we subtract 2 from 6, and we get 4. 4 over 7 is in its simplest form. One last example. 7 tenths minus 2 tenths. We keep the denominator of tenths the same. We subtract 7 minus 2, and we get 5. 5 tenths. But if you notice, however, 5 can go into 10, so we need to simplify further. If we divide the numerator and denominator by 5, we get a simplified fraction of 1 half. So 7 tenths minus 2 tenths is actually equal to 1 half. If you need a refresher on how to simplify fractions, I'll drop a link to that video in the description below. So remember, when subtracting fractions with the same denominator, all you have to do is subtract the numerators and simplify if needed. It is the same process as adding fractions with the same denominator. If you want some extra practice on subtracting fractions, head on over to improvemath.com and snag yourself a free worksheet under the additional resources page. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't, hit like and subscribe. Thanks.